When it comes to addressing homelessness and the addiction issues that sometimes frequently come with it, there's no quick, easy fix. In the Steel City, though, there is new hope where there will soon be a new place for those needing help to start. Good evening, I'm Heather Skold. I'm Josh Holman sitting in for Bart Bedsell tonight. Welcome. We begin in Pueblo where work is now underway on a brand new facility aimed at helping homeless people who are also struggling with addiction. Tonight, Cardio News Channel 13's Barbara Fox explains how this new center in the Bessemer neighborhood could help with Pueblo's growing unhoused crisis. The transformation to make this building a place of hope has started. One day, it will be the Charles and Helen Solano Bessemer Wellness Center. It is meant to be a safe space for people experiencing homelessness and struggling with addiction. We're not looking for people to come in the door and boom, you're healed, you're well, because you came in to see us. That's not how this works. That's Jude Solano, CEO of the Southern Colorado Harm Reduction Association. She knows there's no quick fix to drug addiction or the homelessness problem, but the first step may be walking through these doors. Some folks just need to get off the streets. Some folks just need a job. As you can tell, this building is still in the very early stages of construction. But one day, this room will be filled with lockers and showers for people to come and use to get cleaned up. Upstairs will be offices for medical doctors, and just down the hall will be a food area. Pueblo's getting bad right now, and, and it's getting dangerous going down to the river bottom. For the last 13 years, Paul Montoya has been feeding and helping the homeless along Fountain Creek. When I first started doing this, maybe there was only maybe 10 or 15 percent of them people living down there were doing drugs, mainly marijuana, smoking weed. But now, as of 2023, 90 percent of them are on drugs right now. And it's devastating for me to see that, you know what, they're going downhill more and more and more every day. Soon Montoya will be working out of this building, bringing in those struggling with housing and addiction. He's going out to the encampments and really putting himself at risk that way. That can be really dangerous. And we want to make sure that folks stay safe so they can continue to provide their, the work that they are called to do. Solano is now asking the city of Pueblo for nearly $1 million to help with construction costs. The proposal will be voted on next week. And if it doesn't pass, Solano will have to find alternative funding. Reporting in the Bessemer neighborhood, Barbara Fox, Cardio, News Channel 13.